This morning, there's some growing outrage with some over the lack of diversity in this year's list of Oscar nominees. Filmmaker Spike Lee and actress Jada Pinkett Smith say they're not going to go to the Oscars next month after an all white list of nominees was announced for the major categories for a second year in a row. Joining us now to weigh in, actress and Fox News contributor Stacey Dash. Stacey, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, what do you think about this? I think it's ludicrous. Why? Because we have to make up our minds. Either we want to have segregation or integration. And if we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. If it were the other way around, we would be up in arms. It's a double standard. So it's, you say there shouldn't be a BET channel? No, I don't think so, no. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, we're Americans, period. That's it. Are you saying there shouldn't be a Black History Month because there isn't a White History Month? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Al Sharpton has uh, uh, jumped on the, this boycott bandwagon. He says, don't watch because Hollywood, here's a quote, Hollywood has become like the Rocky Mountains. The higher you get, the whiter. The whiter you get. Well, that's not necessarily true. And if it is, you know, that needs to change. What I find astounding is that we've had a president who is black in office for the past eight years, who gets most of his funding from the liberal elite in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yet there are not very many roles for people of color. How can that be? And why is it just now being addressed? I, I can understand, Jada, uh, Pinkett Smith's frustration that her husband wasn't nominated yeah. for, you know, he did a great job in the movie uh, Concussion. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, what does that say about how people are selected for these awards? Right. That's assuming they're selected by race, which I, I think would be a very dis a disservice to the people who are looking at the films and making the choices. Maybe they knew they need to be more, you know, integrated and, and, and there need to be more diverse people in the process of electing. In the academy. In the academy. Uh, the, the demographics of the academy apparently are, are secret, but for the most part, according to some investigation out in Hollywood, yeah. it's, uh, it's predominantly uh, white males. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. So maybe that says something about who they select, or are, are, are they looking for that, or the best movies and the best actors? I, I hope they're looking for the best movies and the best actors. The good news is that there's attention brought to it now. But like I said, over the past eight years, we've had a president who's black, who gets his funding mainly from Hollywood, the elite liberals. Yeah. So it's odd to me that this has now become such an issue. Well, let's see uh, what happens, because uh, they are calling for people not to watch it. Let's see if the ratings go down. Yeah, I doubt it. By the way, <laughs> before you go, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. It's her birthday today. <laughs> All right, thank Stacey. you.